What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. So I've got a DeWalt palette. There's Milwaukee stuff on here too, but I've been calling it a DeWalt palette because it looks to be mostly DeWalt. Take a quick walk around it. So I paid 1900 bucks for this. There was, it was an auction. There's a 10% buyer's fee. So about 2100 bucks or so. This is a great looking palette. Um, I got this. It was not from Freight. But that's probably where it was from originally, or at least where this palette was from. This is super cheap. So these are usually five to six thousand dollars when I see them, and that's way more than I'm willing to spend. Nineteen hundred though, I'm excited to go through it. For shipping, I actually bought a whole truckload, so it came out to like I don't know thirty bucks a palette for shipping. But obviously, if you were to buy one of these on its own, you'd spend a lot more on shipping if you're going to LTL it. So couple of quick things before we get started. Last time I did a video like this, I had a lot of duplicate comments, so I'm gonna address those on this. When I'm gonna test these, I'm literally just gonna pull the trigger, make sure it powers on. For the video, before we sell them, we will actually fully test them under load, make sure they are fully functioning. But if I did that on the video, this video would be six hours long. Number two, um, these are customer returns. Some of them might be in new condition, like right on top here, this thing looks unused. So we might sell these as new other um, and disclose that is no box or the box has been hope opened. Other ones are, do show signs of use. We have accurate photos. We have accurate description, which, descriptions when we sell them. If you're buying a brand new inbox tool from us, it's not gonna look like this. We don't really sell many tools on eBay. Anyways, they'll probably just go through a local auction, but people always assume we're selling on eBay. So, you know, we're honest and trustworthy on eBay. We don't sell used items as new. Number three, what was number three? I don't know. I don't remember what number three was. So I guess we'll get to it later. Um, everyone's gonna say I overpaid for it and I got had, but this stuff goes for a lot of money. The last one, the Milwaukee one, I spent 1500 bucks on it. It was a Gaylord and it wasn't very full. Um, the power tools alone made me a profit. All the hand tools alone made it where I tripled my money. I mean, if tripling your money isn't good enough for you, then you're in the wrong business. Um, so we're gonna go through this and see what we can find. Now for testing, I've got a Milwaukee and a DeWalt battery. These are mine. These did not come on the pallet. This I bought new at Home Depot, I don't know, at some point. We try to keep a battery for everything so we can test things. And this is from the tools that we use here. Um, so I'm gonna use that for testing, unless one of the batteries on here is good and has a charge. So right on top, we've got this will be sold for parts. Um, we'll test it out. This is a big impact driver. It seems to be running slowly. I've never used one of these before, actually. I used the little impact. Um, this has some weight to it. I don't know if it's supposed to go this slow, but you can see the end is damaged. Um, in the other direction, I'd say it probably works because it's gonna need a lot of torque for this. Um, we're just going to list it that way. We're going to list it um, as the end is broken. I don't know what you would call that. It's not the chuck. It's got a name. I don't remember. Like I said, I don't use this tool. It powers on. It runs. Um, we can't really test this under load because we can't put anything on here. Runs forward, runs reverse. Um, hopefully there's another one on here that works so I can make sure that that's the speed it's supposed to go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm dumb. There we go. It's got a switch on here to change the, the speed settings. So I'm gonna say this thing is fully functional. You just have to replace that. And we can't test this under load because of that. So this is one we'll say just that it runs. We have not tested it under load, uh, but it runs in forward and reverse. Where the, well, two different settings. I didn't try it on the middle setting, but I'm, sure, I'm assuming that's fine. And the end is broken. Next, we've got a little impact. This one has a battery. The battery has no lights on it though. So the battery will need to be charged. I don't know if the battery is any good. And then when we put my battery on it, we'll try the middle setting. Without putting it on our load, it seems like it works. Um, and this is, this is a little one. This is much smaller than mine. Mine sticks out to like here. Um, I would assume this is probably worth 
Bare tool only. Well, it did have a battery. The batteries we usually sell separately. But, oh, that was the other thing. Everyone's like, oh, someone probably stole all the batteries. Go to the Home Depot. Most of the tools are tool only. The idea is it's a lot cheaper to buy this than this with the battery and the charger. And you probably already have like three or four batteries anyways. You don't need one for each tool. But anyways, bare tool only. I would assume this is probably about a hundred bucks. We're probably gonna sell it for around 50 or 60. Next is, and that looks pretty new. Uh, we got another one here. This one, I gotta make sure not to mix up my batteries here. Uh, this one is the one that I showed you that looked pretty new and I'm not getting any power out of it. So this is one that we will sell for parts or repair. It doesn't run. The light turns on. You can see the lights turning on, but forward, reverse, nothing. Probably a burnt out motor or something. I'll probably get 10, 15, maybe 20 bucks for it. All right, we've got some batteries here. Uh, so this one, no lights come on. This is a 60 volt flex volt though. So I'll get this on a charger. It does look like it. Lewis used it for a little while. So I'm not gonna hold my breath, but I'll get it on a charger. This is probably a hundred bucks if it works. This is a four amp hour, no lights on it also. So we'll get that on a charger. Even if these don't work, they still sell. I bet I can get 25 bucks for this if it's junk on eBay. Um, and then we've got this little one here, which doesn't have lights. Uh, let's see, we confirm this one works. So. Oh. so I'm guessing this works, just has a really low charge. Of course, we'll charge it up fully and test it out before we sell it, but that's a cheaper one. This one, what was it, two amp hour? Uh, where is it? Uh, 1.3 amp hour, this is a tiny one. Um, these aren't that expensive. If it works, we'll probably get 15 bucks. If it doesn't work, maybe I can throw in a lot with, uh, probably just put it with a broken tool or something. All right, now we got a DeWalt bag here. This has, one, two, three chargers, and we got another battery. This one does not have a light. A light is in the little meter where you push the button and it tells you if it's got a charge. This one seems to be working fine. So this battery, we can sell for probably 15 or 20 bucks. It's another, is it the same one? Um, 1.5 amp hour, so a little bit bigger. I've never heard of a one. Well, I dropped it. Eh, they take a lot of abuse. On the job site anyway so this has three chargers so we can test those out as we test the batteries all right next we've got all right i'm gonna bring the camera closer so next we've got this pack out box that has a whole bunch of it looks like milwaukee stuff in it at, the, at least a bunch of chargers and this oh this is pretty light it's not empty but it is not full it might just have a battery or something honestly i'd prefer the battery over the tool um, all right, so I will, I'm gonna cut this down so we can get this off. First, let's slice this thing open, see what's in it. How annoyed would you be, or how annoyed would I be if these were all empty boxes? That would be terrible. All right, so this has a drill, hammer drill combo, and I'll grab my battery. Seems to be working fine. Again, haven't tested it under load. Not gonna do that on the video, but I will do that before I sell it. I think this is the same one I have and I spent like 225, but it did include a battery and charger. Um, it is pretty used, assuming everything works fine on it. We'll probably get 70 bucks, maybe 100. I suppose I can keep it in the box. 70 to 100 bucks, somewhere in that range. All right, now we'll cut this down. So we can get this pack out box off. And in it, let's see, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 Milwaukee chargers. They're all the M12 charger. In the last video, people said these are worthless, but we sold these in our warehouse sale, 10 bucks each, they were gone very quickly. Um, and these all look brand new. I mean, the cords are wrapped, it's got the ends on it. 
Uh, that's 120 bucks right there. And there's some non-tool stuff in here. We've got Christmas lights, two of these. And then we've got one, what is this? Solar pathway lights. Uh, but it's missing some. It looks like three, is this a three pack? So half of this, a three pack of solar pathway lights. I bet I get 30 bucks for all three of these. And that is it for this box. So I'm gonna just fill this back up um, and we'll take the box down and see how that looks. So the box is not in great shape. The handle's broken. And this part here is bent out, stopping this wheel from turning. I feel like it's still sellable though. I think I could probably still get 20, 25 bucks for it. Someone could figure something out for the wheel or the handle. If they bend this out, that'll turn. Um, otherwise it's in pretty nice shape. I want to say these, I I've never bought one of these, so I don't know how much this costs, but I would assume this is probably 60, 80 bucks in the store. I think we'll, what's this? Oh, that's to clip the next one on. Um, but I, I assume it'd still sell decently. So now we've got a big brown box here and then a whole bunch of tools around here. Let's start with the tools. The box goes all the way down to the floor, actually. Hampton Bay 24 inch vanity sink. I'm just going to open this up. And this is exactly what it says. It's a bathroom vanity, 24 inch bathroom vanity. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I was hoping that'd be filled with tools, but I knew there was a chance that was going to be not tool related. All right. Now, oh, this plastic sucks. The first thing on top here, how about this? This is a DeWalt 18 gauge brad nailer. This is a pneumatic version and it looks to be in really nice shape. Um, we'll get it on an air tank and try it out. It's not scratched up inside or anything. It looks, it looks new. Of course, we'll test it out first, but I think this will, and these aren't too expensive what 60 bucks retail so maybe get 30 40. oh they taped all this together so now we've got this guy this is a, another hammer drill and in the box is oh boy this one has seen a lot of use look at this I doubt this works. Let's try it out. No power. Light doesn't even turn on. So this is junk. It does have a battery though, which also has seen better days. No lights on the battery. I'm assuming, and there's a charger in here too. I'm going to assume this whole thing is junk as we'll probably get 10 bucks for the battery on eBay um, and then the charger and the drill, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. Not looking good so far. All right, this is kind of falling off, so. Take it out. We got two different tools here. This is part of the atomic line. We've got another one that's really rough. This is not the yeah, this is what's on there. Another one that's really rough. We got a little battery and the drill. Um, no power on there. Let's try the good battery. Works great. We'll try it on the load later, but it's in rough shape. I'm assuming we're going to get uh, 40 bucks out of it. And there goes the battery. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Next, we've got this set, the Atomic, the Drill, and Driver. Let's see what we got. I'm going to be annoyed if everything on here is really heavily used. These are rough. The last one I got, most of them were in new condition. Oh, this one has a battery on it. So at least this one runs... We haven't tested it on a load, but the battery works. And this one, 
are getting nothing but the light. So the driver works, the drill, not so much. Uh, what about the other battery? So both batteries are good. The driver's good, presumably. The drill is not. And so that will be, I bet I can get 30 bucks for the driver. 10 bucks a piece for the batteries and maybe 10 bucks for the broken drill. So that's 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks for that box. All right, now we've got a coil nailer. This is a 15 inch coil siding and fencing nailer. I've got one of these, but I think it's a different one because I'm pretty sure the box is a lot bigger and it was not cheap. This is a pretty nice shape. Oh, this is a pneumatic one. That's why it looks different, right? I think this is pneumatic. 15 amp. Yeah, it has to be. Um, it doesn't have the thing on the bottom, but I think you can get those pretty cheap. Um, so obviously cheaper than mine and I will need to test it out. Mine is, the reason it's cheaper than mine is because mine is a battery powered one. Uh, battery powered roofing nailer. And I paid 400, I think, for it. All right, here we've got a bunch of stuff that's gonna fall. Let's do some of these smaller boxes. We've got a, what is this? A three-speed impact driver, tool only. See, <clears throat> here's how you get them in the store. Tool only. So that's why there were no batteries in the last one. This one, Heavily used, not as bad as the others. It works, at least it powers on. Eh, another 30 bucks or so. So these were branded as, or listed as returns. Usually, when, I, when I've dealt with tool returns, I've found that almost all of them have signs of use. You're not gonna find many that are in new condition. Um, but most of them are functioning. And so far we're, what, about 70% functioning? All right, we've got an 18 gauge brad nailer. I've got an 18 gauge brad nailer, but it's Ryobi. And this is in really nice shape. There we go. This one looks either unused or very limited use. There are no nails in it, but I think we can still well, mine won't actually fire if there are no nails. And I don't have nails here to try it out. But we've got a battery, we've got a charger, and it's in nice shape cosmetically, so I'm going to assume it probably works. Uh, my, I've got 18 gauge nails, but they're at home, so I will need to bring those in to test this. I am fairly confident in it though. If I were, so I just got back from Vegas. So let's do this. If I were a gambler, when I was in Vegas, I made a $2 bet or over the course of some time on a slot machine, I put in two bucks and I got four bucks back. So I feel like I'm an expert at gambling. And I think I would say 80% odds that works just fine. All right, uh, this thing is gonna fall off. This is, Framing nailer? Yeah, framing nailer. This is the same one I think that I have, and I think I paid 200, 250, something like that for mine. This one does show signs of use, but it's in pretty nice shape. And it's got you know, a little bit of wear patterns on the back. Um, let's see. I'm getting nothing though. So this may be junk, but this is a more expensive tool. So maybe I can get 70, 80 bucks for it for parts. Uh, no accessories. It could just be jammed too. That might've been jammed. Yeah, no lights or anything coming on here. There we go. It's not going to uh, 
do anything without putting nails in it. Again, I've got framing nails, but they're at home. So I want this finished down. I would switched it to the multiple nails, the picture of three nails. Now the switch isn't going back. There we go. So a single nail. So maybe it just needs to have the nail in it to turn on because it's working there. So it's just on the single nail. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera. Um, so right, oh, try and figure this out. Right here, can you see that? Uh, the single nail doesn't do anything, but the multiple does. So that being the case, that changes things. Again, I'm gonna try and put some nails in and see what happens, but assuming it works at least on that function, I think this is 150 bucks all day long. All right, next. Boy, there are a lot of tools on here. Next, we've got this, another 18 gauge rad nailer. I would rather the nail guns be the ones working and the drills and drivers not, because the nail guns are the expensive ones. This one does show signs of use. I don't know how much though. Minimal. Uh, let's see, this is another Brad nailer. Something wrong with this. That doesn't stay up. So that could be the issue. The light comes on. Does nothing, but again, um, that might just be the only issue. These, I don't know that they, I can't really test them. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So this little trigger that holds that shut, the little tab is broken off. That's why this doesn't stay on. I feel like that's fixable. I'm not gonna fix it. I'll put in some nails uh, and hold it shut and see if it works. If it works and that's the only issue, I mean, I would assume this is probably 200 bucks. Like I said, I, mine is a Ryobi, so I don't know. Oh, and there's a battery charger in it. Um, so I bet I could get, I don't know, 100 bucks for it if it works. If it doesn't work, then probably more like 50. We'll see. All right, we've got another DeWalt box. This is a 23 gauge. This is a pneumatic one. Shows a little bit of signs of use. A little bit on the grip here. A little bit on, oh, a little more on the top. So this has been used. Um, a lot of cases on these, guys will buy these, use it for what they need it, and then return it, like a free rental. Uh, which is unethical, but that's how we get a lot of this stuff. Why is this not going in there? That's why I'm having them backwards. Um, so assuming this works, 40 bucks maybe. I'm just taking a shot in the dark on some of these. I have no idea what this retails for. Um, we're gonna be probably about, if it's in nice shape. So if it is flawless, brand new, the box is probably gonna be open, but otherwise brand new. No dings, no scratches, looks like it's never been used. We're gonna sell it about 20% off retail. So a hundred dollar item will sell for 80. If it is um, slightly used, kind of like that one that I just showed you, we'll probably sell it for about 30 to 40% off. So that $100 item will sell for 60 or 70. If it's in really rough shape but works, we're probably gonna be about 50% off retail. So that $100 item will sell for 50. Yeah, it, there are still some variables, but that's a general idea. So when I'm quoting these prices, um, what I just said is probably gonna supersede that because I don't know what retail is. Okay, this one is electric. This is a DeWalt sander let's plug it in all right we got an outlet right here let's make sure we're off let's unravel the cord i got a pallet here i can test this under load it's not actually going to sand because there's no sander on it no uh sanding pad and it's just the Velcro, but. I would say this works great. Again, I don't know what these go for. 
Uh, but this is something that I would probably sell for about half retail, maybe a little bit more. So if this is a hundred bucks, I'm probably gonna sell for about 50 or 60. All right, should we go more down here? Let's get some of this over here. Um, get another couple more actually. Milwaukee 12 volt, oh, you can't see me, 12 volt chargers. One's buried, but there's two more and there's one that was buried a little bit that I can't get to yet. Uh, so right here, we've got a 16 gauge finish nailer. I wouldn't mind a 16 gauge nailer, so I might buy this if it's working. Um, to clarify, I own the business, but I don't, I own the business, but because the business is a corporation, I have to purchase stuff from the business. I would give myself a good deal, but this is, I would say in new, oh, hold on. It's in new condition, but it's not what was on the box. This is a 15 gauge nailer, whereas the box is for a 16. So light comes on, but again, like the nailers, my nailers at home, all that'll happen if there are no nails in it, is just the light will come on. So I wish I had nails. I don't actually have 16 gauge nails or 15 gauge nails. So I'll have to buy some to test that. And then we've got a two amp hour battery and a charger with it. So, I would imagine this is probably, with the battery and charger, say 200 bucks. So I would probably sell this, again, assuming it works and everything, for about 150-ish. All right, now we've got another a coil framing nailer. I didn't realize they made coil framing nailers. So the last coil nailer that I pulled was a, uh, it said roofing and siding nailer, or siding and trim or something like that. This one is a coil framing nailer. This is a pneumatic one, it's not battery. I have an air compressor, but I don't use it for any of my tools. It's literally just for testing stuff here. All of my tools are battery. So it does show some signs of use. Um, no way to really test it. I am not smart. Right after saying it's pneumatic, I went in to look to see if there's a battery and charger with it. Um, so we'll put this on the, the thing, the air compressor, test it out. All right, next. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Here is another pneumatic DeWolf 23 gauge air nailer. And condition is, they bought a DeWalt, they returned a Porter cable. I think that's Harbor Freight, right? Um, so they probably spent a hundred some odd dollars for this and returned a $20 one. It does have some nails here. These are just 23 gauge nails though. So I can use these to test. I didn't think to look in those boxes to see if there were nails. Um, so that would be nice. It does actually fit in here nicely. Um, I stand corrected. I don't know. I will, it was closed a second ago. I don't know, we'll just jam it shut. Um, so this I'm gonna sell for like 10 bucks. I'm not gonna get much for it. Uh, let's see, we've got right here a 23 gauge pin nailer. So I might grab those nails out of there to test this out. So we can at least test one of these with nails. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what I just had there, right? This is, it has a battery. It does not have a charger. Now I'll put the battery on. Lights come on. Oh, there are nails in it. I don't think they put a nail in. So the nails are not going in. All right, so it did have a jam and I cleared that. Now, yeah, let's put them in. Those are some tiny nails. I think this works just fine. They're not, oh. 
And that's why you don't put your finger there when you're doing it. That one slipped out. They're not going in all the way, but there's a little adjustment on it to do that. This thing works perfectly fine. Battery and everything. <clears throat> I thought there was a chance those nails wouldn't fit, so I took out the shorter ones from that other box that we just, the, new, the, the Porter Cable one. But I put these other ones back in. This works perfectly fine. And, well, that's the battery for it. So, this is good to go. I can't imagine ever using that size nail for anything, though. Like, when I'm doing trim and stuff, I use my 18 gauge, which seems really small, but it works for what I need it for. Uh, all right. Oh, and what I pulled out of it was this. It took two at a time, and it was, like, bent around the thing. So we got another one right here, same thing. 23 gauge nailer. This one uh, looks to be about the same condition, but does not have the, that's interesting, this has a little plastic tip on it. Right here, the other one didn't have that. Um, does not have the battery. And this is, it did include a battery, a charger, and a bag. So this one I'm getting, oh, no nail. So I'm gonna put some nails in it. See how long this takes when I'm actually testing, fully testing the tools? That's why I don't do that on the videos. Can that go in? I don't think so. Does this tip come off? Nothing's driving out of it. Let's take these off. Check for a jam. Okay, this tip has to come off somehow. And then this lifts up. Does not appear to be a jam in there. Try it without the plastic tip on it. And I suppose I should put the battery on it. That is so weird. So this could be defective. Well, there's another plastic tip right here. Um, let's, these are not the same nails. Well, I don't see why that would make a difference. It did register the nails because this light was red before. And when I take them out, you see how it's red and I put them in. So it registers the nails are there. Um, I don't know this tool. I don't see anything to change settings. There was something right here. I suppose I probably should have taken the battery out to do that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Any ideas? It seems like I can feel it here doing everything. It's just not shooting the nail. And I do have the nails facing the right direction. It's got the little arrows on it. In all the way, train properly. I don't know. Well, I will play around with it some more off camera. Um, I feel like this is probably something that I can get working fairly easily, but because everything else seems to work, I think I can still probably get 30 to 40% of retail, 60 to 70% off for it. All right, next we've got, oh, here's the other Milwaukee charger that I couldn't get to. Next, we've got this big Oregon Scientific chainsaw. This is an electric chainsaw, um, but unfortunately, I can't just plug it into the wall. I have to put an extension cord on it, and I don't have any extension cords handy. Um, it looks like it's in pretty nice shape. 
Let's get it all out of the box here so we can look at it together. Who designed this box? Oh, I see my problem. Just tape over the little flap. So this guy, so far, looks unused. Now, if I take that off, oh yeah, I would say this has never been used. So this is probably fully functional here. Um, I can't just plug that into the wall though, I need an extension cord. I'm pretty confident in this. Of course, I will test it before, but I mean, it's an electric chainsaw. These things aren't that expensive. Well, maybe I'll get 50, 60 bucks for it. Set that aside here. All right, now we've got the first Milwaukee tool. This is, what is this? Milwaukee M12 Drain Snake. I'm gonna come back over here because you can't see me over there. The box has seen better days, but that doesn't mean much. I get some ugly tools out of pretty boxes and I get pretty tools out of ugly boxes. This, very likely the case, somebody had a clog at home. So they went and spent two, 300 bucks. This is an M12. I don't have the M12. There's a five gallon bucket in here. Um, so anyways, they probably went out and bought this tool, used it the one time to unclog their stuff, and then returned it. Um, and this is not part of it. This is an Everbuilt gate latch. So there's that in there. Um, looks like they did not return the battery with it though. They do have an M12 battery, but it's not handy. I don't feel like going to dig it out. So they did steal the battery. It looks to be in pretty good shape. It does look like it's been used. You can see some, some dirt and stuff on it. There, you can see it in there. I would say pretty likely this thing works. Simply because this is the exact type of tool that someone would buy, use for their one job they need it, and then return it. Because unless you're a plumber, why do you need a three to $500 drain snake? But it does make the job easier. You see that a lot with paint sprayers too. They're always heavily used. And um, what is this? They're always heavily used, but they return work perfectly fine. I don't know what this is. Here we go. Uh, looks like just another impact driver. It's the atomic line. And this looks brand new. Oh, it's tool only. Looks brand new. Runs in forward. Oh, I see the issue. That's in reverse right now. This button is jammed. I can't push this to go. So it only works in one direction. And I can't see in there which direction it's going. I don't know. Um, works, but it's only one direction. This is something, and it looks brand new. This is something that I think someone would buy and fix. Um, I don't think, I don't think it would cost much, if anything, to fix it. I don't have the skill set to fix it, though. I think someone will probably pay. I bet I can get half retail for it. I'm not making any guarantees, but I think I probably could. All right, this is, what is this? Another impact. And it is heavily used. Not as bad as some of the other ones so far. It works. So we'll test this under load. It's fun when I test these because I just sit down a two by four and I have a bunch of screws and just drive, in, drive a screw in, back it out. And then I do that a whole bunch of times. One with each tool. I don't test it super thoroughly. What I'm gonna do, I'll be careful not to rust my hand there, they're nails sticking out. What I will do is I will drive a screw all the way in and then back it all the way out. And if it can do that, I'm happy with it. We do have a return policy when we sell things on eBay. So if for whatever reason, another issue comes up, 
Um, the buyer can just return it. No big deal. At that point, I'm pretty confident in it. All right, we've got another electric sander. Looks lightly used. There's some plastic bits in the box. Some broken bits of plastic. What might these be from? I don't see anything broken on it. I don't know, so we've got this little round thing, which looks like it probably was wrapped around the cord or something. And we've got this little thing, which that part was broken. I don't see anything on here that they would have gone to. You know, nothing on the cord that it would have come off of. That looks fine. I don't know. They could just be unrelated. They could have fallen in that box. Let's go plug it in. Make sure we're off. Seems to work. Mm -hmm. So, oh, almost lost you there. Hold on. Technical difficulties. There we go. So, there's no sanding pad on it, but I put, you know, I leaned into it when I was testing it, and it didn't seem to slow down or anything. Oh, there's more bits of plastic. Now, this is like shrink wrap that something would be packaged in, so I think those pieces were something else. Um, seems to work perfectly fine. I need a... I want a square sander like that. I've got a round orbital sander, but I don't do corded tools. Other than the big ones like the table saw, the miter saw, everything I own is cordless. All right, let's dig some more. Next, we've got this is a hand planer. And it is electric. It does look like it was used. Uh, we got a couple of them here, so I'm gonna open the other one too, and then we'll go over there and test them. So the other one is right here. And this one also looks like it was used. Both of them are in pretty nice shape, but they do show signs of use. Honestly, really the only signs of use on them is sawdust. I've never actually used one of these before, so I have no idea what to expect. That one works. Now let's try the other one. Look how nice and clean we got this pal. Oh, it's really smooth too. Um, I accidentally hit the nail a couple of times. All right. I hope I didn't mess up the blade too much on that. Now we've got a flexible circular saw. Let's see how this looks. And this is, it includes a nine amp hour flexible battery and a bag and a charger. It does look like it's been used pretty heavily. There we go. And no charger. We get the battery and whatever this thing is. I don't, I don't know what this is. Please remove before use. It says to transport with this on though. I don't know. Um, I've got one light on the battery. I'm 
might just not be enough to run it. Let's put it on here. So I'm gonna say this battery is probably good. It's just really low. So I'm actually gonna set that aside because I'm probably gonna sell that separately. I bet that's a hundred bucks. That's, I don't like that angle. Should have been wearing safety glasses. I got one right in the eye. I had my safety squints on, but I'm gonna say this probably works. Let's. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I don't like the angle. I don't like that it was loose. It's probably not a safe thing to do. You saw I had a little bit of kickback on that one, but it works. I of all people should know that safety squint